It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, I'll let you know that I plan on taking Monday off. Um, from all the video uh, channels, um, even this one, which I don't usually like to do, but as I said, I'm playing music on Sunday uh, night, and I won't get home till late, and all that. If I do pull one out Monday, it'll be later in the day. It won't be as early. Um, today's video is on. Okay, you know how suave or how suave and worldly Barney Fife is, uh, and how the girls just love him. There was an actress who played his fiance um, on the Andy Griffith show who quit acting after she was rejected by Barney Fife. True story. Here we go. During the successful television run of the Andy Griffith show, there were many guest stars who appeared in the beloved sitcom. One of those guest stars was actress Beverly Tyler, according to MeTV. Uh, she appeared as the character of Gladys Melissa Stevens. However, soon after her appearance in the Andy Griffith show, uh, she gave up acting for good. The character of Gladys was one uh, was a love interest for Deputy Barney Fife, played by Don Knotts. Uh, she came along at a time when Barney and his true love, Thelma Lou, played by Betty Lynn, were on the outs. In an episode titled Barney on the Rebound, Gladys makes an appearance in Mayberry. Things began to move very quickly between this woman and Barney. Things moved so quickly, in fact, that Barney and Gladys are engaged. Uh, being Barney, he quickly realized he made a mistake with this new woman, like he is often known to do, and he went to Sheriff Andy Taylor, played by Andy Griffith, for help, as always. Barney wanted to break up with Gladys and wisely repair his relationship with Thelma Lou. Uh, this episode of The Andy Griffith Show aired during 1961. Some people thought that Beverly Tyler was going to be one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. However, the year after she appeared as a character in the Mayberry, Tyler decided to bring her career to an end. Turns out the actress fell in love and got married. The man she loved and married was Jim Jordan Jr. Parents were Jim and Mary Jordan. They were the stars of the hit 1930s radio show, Bibber McGee and Molly. Tyler and Jordan married in 1962. At the time, Tyler decided that her marriage and family were more important than her acting career, so she gave it up. The couple were married until 98, and Jordan died that year. Her appearance in the 1961 episode of The Andy Griffith Show wasn't the only classic television show that Beverly Tyler as a guest star. According to IMDb, the actress also appeared in an episode of Bonanza that same year. Uh, she made her appearance on that beloved Western series in an episode called Vengeance. Is a character named Mary. Her last acting credit for her uh, 1961 episode of Hazel. Uh, she got her start in acting on a dare during a family trip to New York City with a friend named Patty. Uh, they walked by the MGM offices in the, in the city. Patty dared a friend to go in and audition. Tyler accepted and the audition was a success. Her first acting credit came in 1943 in a film titled The Youngest Profession. She would go on to appear in several movies during her almost 20 years in the entertainment industry. Some of her other films included My Brother Talks to Horses, uh, The Cimarron Kid, Chicago Confidential, and The Toughest Gun in Tombstone. Beverly Tyler was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania in July of 1927. She passed away during uh, November of 2005 in Reno, Nevada. She was 78 years old at the time of her death. I too thought she could be some. She could have really, really been something. She's a beautiful woman, beautiful. But I didn't realize that she was that old. Uh, I didn't realize. I mean, she's been in business already for twenty years, and uh, I didn't. I, I thought she was a lot younger than that. Kind of crazy. Um, tells you how I, I can't tell age. I mean, look at me. I'm twenty two. I don't think I look twenty two. Heck, I don't think I look a day over sixteen. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget, um, 
that classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia, the Beverly Hillbillies facts and trivia will all be off for the weekend, be back on Tuesday. And this one, this channel will be off on Monday. If I just so happen to get a, get a wild hair and I do a video, it'll be coming on Monday afternoon or Monday late morning. Because I will have to work that day too, and that's going to be a killer, man. Getting home about two o'clock in the morning and getting I don't know. And it's Labor Day. Pray for me. <laughs> All I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great weekend. God bless you. And yeah, as always, I'm praying for you.